Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you a new video tutorial about uh, resource dictionary and uh, just I am going to use a resource dictionary in WBF uh, or you can say a resource dictionary in Maui that, that is the same. So uh, here we have a resource dictionary like that and in this video tutorial just I am going to fix a error message actually. So uh, this is the thing when we uh, just run my Maui application in Windows machine then I got a error message like that and what is the error message is actually hand that is the that is Microsoft dot Maui dot controls dot XAML dot XAML parsers exception position 7 colon 6 point type converter colon bool, uh, bool converter not found in uh, xml ns clr namespace maui tutorials mvvm dot view model i mean to say that that namespace not found in the in the clr namespace so what uh, is the basic uh, thing you can add in the uh, and in the resource dictionary so what is the thing just after that you have to add in assembly that is an assembly here you can just write assembly just after that semicolon uh, here we have a namespace CLR namespace Maui tutorial MVVM view model and just after that you can use semicolon after that you can just define assembly and and assembly is the project name and that is your project name that is Maui tutorial so here we have Maui Maui tutorials that's fine now after adding the assembly in the resource dictionary just after that your namespace then you can use your resources then you can use your converter class that is the converter bool converter x colon key bool convert and that is the thing is checked binding is popular and converter is a static resource bool converter that is the same thing you can use in your content page but uh, if you are using in the resource dictionary then you can just define the assembly that is your project name and you can use your checkbox now like that okay so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to dotnet maui wpf and asp.net core thank you very much for watching